Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, Kono Pro. In this video, we're going to be building on the mini house. We're going to be installing our insulation, and then we're going to be installing our drywall, and then we'll also be applying our um, self adhesive drywall joint tape, as well as applying a smooth set 40 plaster. So, if you're not familiar with our channel, what we do is we do DIY projects, we do construction projects, we basically do um, general construction and we just film certain videos that we think will be interesting. So if you have an idea for a video or something you'd like us to do, leave a comment and let us know your thoughts. Now this is a mini house I've been working on for a while and I've been trying to build it as, as close as I can to the way you do standard construction. Of course there are some things that you know it's it's really hard to do as, as far as mini style like running all my rough electrical plumbing hvac all that stuff on the walls prior to installation install and drywall install but that being said we're just doing what we can so as you see right there bam insulation is installed we got the r13 insulation in all our exterior walls and then we're going to go through and start throwing in our drywall now i've lot of watched a lot of mini houses on YouTube and over the web and stuff and I've never seen one that shows as much detail as this video does as far as layout goes framing um, and then especially insulation and drywall I haven't seen any of the mini house videos do that so I was really excited to get this put together for you guys so please leave a comment if you want to would be cool so check out this video so what we're doing is we're throwing in the drywall you just saw how we put in all the insulation right it was pretty cool and then now we're throwing in the drywall you got to mark all your layout and then you want to lock everything in and then you can go through and cut out the windows in afterwards that's what i like to do it helps the process go a lot quicker a lot faster and a lot smoother so you see here we're using quarter inch drywall that was the skinniest thinnest drywall i can use and i was going to attempt to make little squares cut them all up into little four by eight inch sheets of drywall to you know make it more realistic like i did with the exterior paneling um, but i noticed i'm not getting too many views on that video so i put a lot of work into doing that and i didn't get a lot of views on that video so i figured you know what i'm just going to go ahead and slam the drywall in big pieces it'll give you basically the same idea except you won't see how to stagger the joints um, but you can watch some other drywall videos go back to our channel Kono Pro and you can see we have a video on how to install drywall and it'll give you a better idea on how to install drywall in your house and that brings you back to basically why these why I'm making these videos I'm making these videos to basically help people who have no idea no concept of how the house is built to have a, a little bit of a better idea a general idea on how you build a house and if you go back on our channel, you see we do the foundation on this little mini house. Then we do all the wood framing. We do the roof framing. We do um, our 2% slope on the roof for water drainage. We also do um, our exterior shear paneling. And of course, you know, there are certain things like, you know, all the rough electrical plumbing, HVAC, like I explained earlier, that it's hard for me to totally detail and spec out on this little mini house. But hey maybe in the future you guys support this channel and help me get a million views and spread this channel out there then and if it's it turns out to be something i can do then i'll make a i'll make a house that's specced out with hvac electrical plumbing whatever we can as far as mini style it would of course have to be a little bigger scale but if you guys want to support me on that venture then let me know in the comments and maybe we can make that happen in the future but in the meantime, here I am, just getting this done. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'm using a little multi-purpose tool there to uh, cut out all my openings and stuff like that. And then stay tuned. Pretty soon we're about to throw some plaster and some smooth set 40. And the technique I'm going to use for the smooth set 40 is, is a, basically the same way you do it on a real house. So by watching this video, you'll have a good idea on how it's done. If you're about to have a project, done at your place you know like a brand new house or remodel or something done and you need some plaster done and some work done then you can watch these videos and have a general idea of course this is a model and you know you see off the roof detached that isn't typical for a house you have everything seamed and all your drywall joints in the corners and everything done 
um, but I'm gonna keep that separate so that way I can have the roof removable so I can finish off the project as far as like installing tile um, you know painting and doing exterior finishes and things like that and I want it to be sort of a piece that I can take apart in the future and always have access to the interior once we have all our doors and windows in it'll be a lot harder to have access I can't remove the roof so here we are now installing our self-adhesive mesh drywall joint tape I like to use the fiber mesh drywall joint tape because it's just a stronger tape and it's it seems to last a lot longer than the paper tape and it just has worked well for me over the years so I like to use the self-adhering drywall mesh joint tape it works great of course I have to cut it you know small little strips to fit the mini house but we're getting it done and if you see all these materials and if you go back and watch my videos and wonder how I, I got all these materials I've made them all myself um, I've sourced them all out and made them all myself so it's a little bit of a tedious and detailed process but you see how I'm doing that corner right there typically you do a corner bead you'd have a piece of metal which would be a you know a light gauge steel and that would be your corner bead and that's what you would put there but in this case we just used um, joint tape to give it a nice corner which you can do as well sort of an old school technique but I recommend using the corner bead for sure and then also we're going to skim coat all the walls I'm going to go through and skim coat everything just give it one full skim coat. Stay tuned, you'll see how we do that. And remember, like these videos, I'm just putting them together to sort of give all, everybody out there a better idea on how to do construction. So if they ever attempt a project like this, they can do it. If they, um, you know, have someone else doing the work, they have a better idea of what they're paying for and how it should be done. Of course, there's many different techniques and different, different styles on how to do things. But once you get the hang and you get the gist of what's supposed to be done as far as steps and procedures and, and you know, things that have to be done to build a house, then I feel like just the average person or anybody can really grasp it. It's really sort of just common sense and stuff once you know all the steps. Of course, a lot of people make things look really easy and they are very difficult, but with some practice and some knowledge, you could just about do anything. All right, so here we go. We're throwing in on all our skim coats. It's all our Smooth Set 40 plaster, and that's a product that comes in a powder form, and then you mix it with water. And it has a cure time. 40 is the cure time. That's Smooth Set 40. It means you have 40 minutes to cure. You can get Smooth Set 20, you can get Smooth Set 90, you can get Smooth Set 5. I like to work with Smooth Set 40 because it allows you to work with it for a while before it really starts setting, setting up and getting hard on you while you're working it. You want it to maintain its, you know, its, its smoothness so you can smooth it out and you can go back through and make sure it's real nice and smooth before it gets hard on real quick. A lot of people typically would say they would use like a joint compound and do one layer first, then multiple layers and multiple layers. That's great. I like to just throw it on there, get it done. It always comes out really great when I apply a really thick coat of fire mud or hot mud, some people call it, to all the joint. And then I'll go back through and throw my finished topping and stuff to really smooth it out or texture the walls depending. All right, I want to mention real quick that the typical process on building a structure before you do insulation and drywall would be to seal off your roof and have that all sealed off and taken care of and then you install your exterior lathing. That's all your exterior paper and house wrap to waterproof the house and then before you install your scratch and your stucco, you install your insulation and your drywall on the interior. Once that's done, then you go ahead and scratch and stucco the exterior. We've, you know, switched the process around a little bit, but as long as you're clear on that, you'll be okay. Remember to subscribe and like if you like this content. Photo Pro out.